Buenas noches. ¿Cómo estás? Guten Tag. Hi. Wie bist du heute? <laughs> it's us. Remember us? It's Rich and Bethany. If you forget us, I should have a name tag. Yeah, it might be time for that again. But yeah, we. it's only like two more weeks of classes. So we just wanted to touch base again. And we'll probably make another one this weekend to congratulate those who are going to be completing their time at Rosedale. But in case we forget, congratulations to those who are completing your time at Rosedale. Finish strong. You're doing a great job, I hear, uh, with the Moodle stuff. So keep going. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Paige I got to see a couple times because Vicky kept calling me and having <laughs> me jump into her meeting. But I That's hear, his favorite thing. I, I heard today's went pretty well, so I didn't get to jump in. But anyway, we just wanted to say hi and uh, talk about how there's all these little things in life that you just don't want to miss out on because they're mm -hmm. just wonderful and highly entertaining. All right. We're, we're just going to give you another bird update. <laughs> More birds. So let's talk about our birds. What did yes. we learn? We learned a lot about birds this last couple of weeks. So a week and a half ago on, thurs on a Thursday, two yeah. Thursdays ago. They know that, I think. I don't think they know that because we didn't make a video since then. You don't think so? No, because last time okay. we made a video, I was talking about the little feathers up in the, okay. in the nest. Okay. So they were hanging out of the nest, sort of looking out like they were thinking about leaving. And I was going to take a picture of them and send to Bethany because she wasn't home at the time. And I said hi to them and they all went. Three of them, three robins went. Lots of high-pitched baby robin chirping. Lots and maybe of... some high-pitched rich chirping? No, I didn't chirp. There was no one here to see, so we chirp. don't know. And then <laughs> other robins flying, adult robins flying, <laughs> chirping, acting confused. And they, they flew. Where are babies going? They flew decent. They, I mean, they went up to the trees and stuff. Anyways, the next morning, I noticed two of them out here, um, right outside our little breakfast nook, just hopping along in the patio there. And, and there was a cardinal out there, too, and they were trying to hop up to the cardinal, but the cardinal just didn't care mm -hmm. and flew away. But then Bethany started observing something that we didn't know robins did. What did you learn, Bethany? I learned that they keep feeding the baby robins even after they have left the nest. Because I kept seeing adult robins coming with worms and feeding these babies. Like the babies would kind of hop over to them and they'd go, chirp, 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 and then they exchange the worm and then off the adult would go again over and over and i saw it multiple times i caught it on camera i caught it on video and i saw it and just you know didn't get any pictures like i kept seeing it happen i, I never on, saw like, i was on worship team two sundays ago and apparently during the singing worship time i was very distracted by robins outside <laughs> How many times did it feed? Four times. The one little baby robin was sitting up in the rafters, like on one rafter. And it, the adult robin came back like four four times in a row while the little baby was sitting up there in like two or three minutes time. I don't know. Or less than five minutes. I should put it that we way. We should point out that the word little baby isn't quite accurate. Right. These things are fat. Yeah. They're they just are like, so chubby. They're little round. They look like angry birds. That big yeah. fat thing with a yeah. little head. That's yep. what they look like. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. I think they need to start working for their own meals because that will probably slim them up a little. <laughs> but they do fly. Some. They do fly. Yeah. But they keep hopping around here mostly. Yeah. So it's been very entertaining to watch. So you Googled this to see I if did. this was unusual and you learned right. some other fun facts. I did. I learned that it's two weeks from the time... From the time they hatch until they fly, oh, and yeah, yes, yes, in the yes. nest, in the nest, they're right. in the week in the nest for two weeks, and then after they hatch, um, and then the parent that keeps feeding them, they feed them for the next two weeks. After they leave the nest, is the male robin, because the female is off already building another nest and laying more eggs for the next group of Ask babies. Ask your parents if you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, we learned that I should have looked this up again to re-verify, but do you remember what I said about how many feet of worms they eat? No, I in the you nest. Look that up this I was going to look it up again, but I didn't. She forgot. It is many, many feet worth of worms that they will eat in the nest before they ever fly in the first place, which didn't, is astonishing. Didn't you see that that the mother robin might make a hundred trips? Yes, that the parents will make approximately a hundred trips to the nest to feed them 
what, during a day, like in one day's time. I don't know where they're getting all these worms. We I'm have worried. a lot of worms. Every I'm time worried I... that our yard's going to dry out because there's no more worms. It won't. We have plenty. We have plenty of worms. All you have to do is go out there and just dig one little thing in the flower bed and you will find a lot of worms. Speaking of, we got our flower beds mulched. Yep, so we did. So kudos to us for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Are we done talking about birds? Oh, do you have more to talk about birds? Well, yeah, because there's the little sparrow nest. They're getting pretty big and I'm afraid we're going to scare them out of their nest someday soon too. And actually just tonight, Rich saw that the robin's nest that's right below the sparrow nest in that same bush, one of the eggs hatched. We're not even sure. Was there still just one egg? I don't know. It's kind of hard to see unless you really poke Yeah, we need there. to really... You'd have to wear gloves or something because it's a really pokey bush. Yeah. So Plus, yeah, we have more birds we're watching. I didn't want to step on the mulch because it looks too nice. Yeah. Yeah. We're just... We're just old people like that now. But yeah, so new baby and as soon as you say hi to it, it goes... Bah. Yep. <laughs> How good. <laughs> yeah. Straight up in the air. Feed me. Yep. Yeah. Now are we done talking about birds? I guess. Oh, the other nest is still back there. I found it again tonight. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Still too back in there. the back part of our property. Yeah. Which had seven deer back there today. Yeah, just tonight. Rich kind of scared them away when we went out to cover up our garden because we were freeze warning. Yeah. Yeah. Someday it's going to be warm enough that we won't have to cover up our garden or our flowers, but that day has not yet come. Wednesday is that day. We hope. Yeah. Because she's hoping to get some more plants and flowers this weekend yep. to do some planting in our flower beds. Cool. So what else do we have to talk about? Yesterday we went on an adventure. Oh, yeah. Don't tell anybody. We went to another state. Technically, we went to Kentucky. <laughs> Aren't we a bunch of rebels? <laughs> yeah. So what did we do? Well, you had this idea that we should do something because it was Mother's Day. Get out of town or out of our house and this do something. This is not something. an announcement. No, She's not, not pregnant. I'm not. No. Um, and so he wasn't going to tell me when, where we were going. But then was it after lunch that you told me finally? Well, yeah. And the only reason I told her was because I didn't think we were going to be able to go because I was watching the weather and they were having severe thunderstorms mm -hmm. in Cincinnati, which is where I thought, let's go to the river walk in Cincinnati. She had mm -hmm. been there before. I'd never been there. I hear it's really nice. And I figure, since neither of us really like crowds, I figure going to a city in a pandemic might be a good time to go. Mm -hmm. And it was. It was, it was a no, fantastic time to Nobody go. there. <laughs> yeah. And it was raining all the way until we, maybe like two minutes before we parked, it was still raining. We still had wipers on, but the sun rained. It was sunny, mm -hmm. but it was we could still, tell it was getting past us. Yeah. But the whole time we were there, we, I think we felt like four drops. Right. So and otherwise it was beautiful and we, we just walked and walked and walked. We timed it perfectly. It was great. Mm -hmm. Went across the bridge into Kentucky and walked by some beautiful old houses and then came back across another bridge and kept walking up and down in parks all along the Ohio side. It's a really cool place to go. Yeah, so since we left state and came back, technically I think we're supposed to quarantine for two weeks. We didn't talk to anybody on Kentucky side. We maybe passed a person or two on a sidewalk, sort of, maybe. Yeah. Did we even do that? Yeah, we, we passed people on sidewalks. A little bit, but not... But we tried to give them lots of distance. Yeah, we kind of went out on the road. Yeah let some old men go by us and stuff so yeah. older men i should say <laughs> so yeah we got out and did another little road trip adventure mm -hmm. but that's us mm -hmm. how you guys doing we'd love to hear from you if you have a moment just drop us a line um mm -hmm. hopefully sometime i know jeremy's still holding out hope that sometime this summer everybody can come back for one celebration um so we'll i don't know if that'll happen or not it doesn't seem like things are opening up quite that fast but we'll see be great to see you guys again hope you're doing well um again two weeks yet to go congratulations and uh, keep working hard keep studying uh, there's final papers and projects and tests coming up i'm sure you have lots to do so here you're doing a great job so keep it up any final words of wisdom that you want to share i don't think so none none okay adios muchas gracias Gute Nacht. Bye. <laughs>